one of those offensive performances that I'll never forget. What a game. It's another one. We got another one. It's her. Who that? Big baby slide too in that drop top. Something about Ben's looking cute. This is the NFL on EA Sports as we welcome you to MetLife Stadium here in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Today we've got an AFC East matchup between the Miami Dolphins and the New York Jets. Here's Jason Sanders now to get this one started, and we are underway from MetLife Stadium. And the opening kickoff will not be returned, as that will be a touchback. for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. Let's go, boy, Jets. 
And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field, but his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. This time, Wilson will throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Normally, he's pretty reliable. He usually catches what's thrown to him. On that play, he simply dropped it. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Off play action, here's White. Able to complete this one to Tyler Conklin. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 40. The drive stays intact with a pickup of 13. Well, on third down, he wanted to go to one of his most dependable targets, and that's who he found, his tight end there, to pick up the first, Charles. And he used the proper word there, dependable, and sometimes spectacular, because tight ends nowadays, they can do it all. But they're the guys you trust, especially across the middle of the field where there's traffic. He delivers, and they pick up nice yardage. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory right at the 40. Here's White. This is intercepted. Picked off by Eric Rowe. And the Dolphins are going to take possession here at their own three-yard line. They may have thrown the interception, obviously less than ideal, but I think they also sent a message that they're going to push the ball downfield in this one. Yeah, not afraid to take their shots right away, huh? What was that, like a 9-9-9 route? Nine meaning go? Just went ahead and went for it. Didn't work out so well because it certainly appeared the defense was prepared, but I'm with you. Okay, so it didn't work this time. Doesn't mean we won't try it again later. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. Well, they were backed up to start the drive, but how about that aggressiveness? Firing it downfield right away. Nice job there getting out towards what would have been their normal starting position. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. I was in love with trying to get him to put out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. Throwing again on second and ten. Tua. And this one's incomplete. But he certainly didn't like what he saw all from the coverage on his primary reads, and he didn't even have any luck trying to get back to his safety valve. Give defense a credit. Covers is in lockdown mode everywhere. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. He is going to find Hill here. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 23 yards, the final tally. Now that's all about making something happen as a quarterback because instead of forcing something on third down, how about him buying some time outside of the pocket, waiting for someone to come open? And when he did, he put it on him for a big play and a first down. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. They'll run for the first time with Raheem Mostert. And he'll take it across midfield down into Jet territory. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. The last run got six, now second and four. They'll stay on the ground with Mostert. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves them with a third and three. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think Dublin here has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Okay, Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Tua sets up to pass it. 
That's complete to Mostert out of the backfield. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. They'll wind up losing a couple yards here on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. That's a nice clip and save sequence there defensively because they did everything as they would have wanted to. They forced a third down. Blanket in the field with coverage. Nowhere to go with the football. Forced a dump off to the back. And even then, they closed quickly and got him down behind the line of scrimmage. You name it, they did it well in that last sequence. Throw left side, taken in by Hill. And he will have a Dolphins first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Here's Tua. He'll get it once more into the hands of Hill. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And the top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at him, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. And it's caught. Touchdown. Mike Gesicki on the pass from Tua Tungamailoa. And the Dolphins go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that makes the score 7-0. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Braxton Berrios selected to bring it out. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And remember the last time out, they threw the interception. That led to the touchdown, so now time to regroup. It certainly is, and their goal right now as they go back out on the field, a calming drive, something that takes the ball, keeps it for a while, lets the defense relax a little bit, lets the offense regain confidence in their game plan. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now White. That's complete. It's Elijah Moore. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. So now first and 10 as they crossed into Miami territory at the 42-yard line. White. He finds Corey Davis. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And this will be caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Elijah Moore, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Jets are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Zerline good with a PAT. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one as he's tackled it to 15.
The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And they had to go the length of the field last time out to get into the end zone. And with this starting field position, they're going to have to pretty much do it again. And I think the thought process going into it is, hey, if you have to be methodical, go ahead and do that. But what you really want are a couple of big plays. Eat up chunks of yardage and cut down the number of times you have to snap the football. Second down, Moster. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. Here's Tungabailoa on first and ten. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Gesicki. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Dolphins first down. Here we go, here we go. They'll run straight ahead with Wilson. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. Well, that's a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky. That play only picked up five yards. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Good work on the scamper by Tonga Vailoa. It's a first down. Well, here's your first example of how this guy can beat you in more ways than one because they took away his arm. But he was more than happy to dissect them with his legs for that first down pickup. Two and now on first down. Getting this out to the flat, Mostert. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. I know it was a game, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. Second and eight. Up the middle they go with Mostert. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. The Miami first down, that one going for a gain of 11. Partner, there are strong running plays, and then there are plays where you simply outclass the defense, and we saw the latter there. They ran straight up the heart of that front for an excellent gain and first down. Simply put, you've got to put more of a fight defending the middle. Otherwise, this is going to be a long game. Now whistles and a flag, and I believe a Dolphin got going a little early. A full start backs him up five, first and 15. Now Tua. Gesicki hauling in the quick throw. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. The second and seven with our score tied at seven, but they're planning to change that soon. Only question, will they get three or six out of it? A run with Mostert up the middle. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. That one, a first down pickup of eight. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? In motion, Hill. Wilson with a first down carry. And he's going to get this one down inside the 15. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Throwing now is Tungabailoa. That's to Waddle on the quick slant. And the Dolphins are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense. 
So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Ready. Looking to pass to him. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Cedric Wilson as the first half is winding down. And the Dolphins have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Sanders now to add the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Eric Rowe. And the Dolphins are going to have great... This is returned just shy of midfield. Ready. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And maybe a chance for a quick completion and then a long field goal try. We'll see. They'll start on the ground with Moster. And he'll take it across midfield down into Jet territory. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. Final shot before half. And this will be incomplete. One second left to go. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. And now they'll take a timeout defensively. After the second down play, they burn the timeout, making him sweat out the final few ticks here in the second quarter. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. And now the half, not quite over yet. This is a live football on the miss. He's past the 30.
And he will be out of bounds. So no touchdown on the missed field goal return here. And on that wild note, we will come to an end here, the first half of play. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. in front and they'll be in possession of the football first as the second half gets started fielded just outside the goal line and he's going to be out of bounds here right at the 20 yard line at the line ready for their next drive. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Throw left side here complete to the tight end Gesicki. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. As they began this drive I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. On the handoff, this is Moster. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. On first down, they go with Mostert again. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Two are going to throw. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from arm, incomplete. Now it's third down. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up, not that time. On third down, here comes Mostert. And yeah, brought down, but not before he was able to break the tackle, and the extra effort moves the sticks. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. 
And he's got his tight end. It's Mike Gesicki. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. From the gun, it's Tua. And he just gets rid of it, throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second down. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. He'll get this into the hands of Mostert. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. On the double. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. Oh, it's tipped, but he still makes the adjustment. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. He continues to deliver a first down here. He had four catches in the first half, and this one, number five. Come on, six. Here's Mostert. And now the whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. All of a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. He'll look to throw. Rolling to his left. And they'll get this on the screen to Mostert. Only three yards there on the completion. That'll lead to a third and goal. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Well, what a stand this would be if they can get the stop here. Third and goal. Now two are going to try and sneak it. Trying to barrel up in there, but I don't think he got it. Only a few inches needed on the sneak. He didn't get it, and now it's fourth down. It's kind of an interesting decision. One score game, third quarter. What do you do? Yeah, I'm willing to go out on the limb on this one and go for it. Here's why. If I set it up right now and go get the touchdown, I'm in firm control of this ball game, and my team has a ton of confidence. If I don't get it, hey, I rely on my defense. And if somehow they go downfield on me and score, so be it. I want to be in control and in firm control right now. Ready, ready. Ready, go. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. So fourth down, two of the parts, and on is Jason Sanders of the Dolphin Field Goal Unit. Sanders' kick is good, and the Dolphins will add on to their lead. Well, they picked up right where they left off in the first half. First drive after the break, they come away with three and increase that lead. Yeah, and you just want to keep building on that lead, don't you? Whether it's six points or three points, take everything you can get, keep maneuvering, keep adding to it, keep making it difficult for them to come back. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 21. And he goes nowhere. He'll lose yardage back at the 17. Jerome Baker crashing downhill and getting the stop. Here we go. 
before they can snap it. Time runs out on this third quarter of play. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and 15. Now Wilson. And he'll find Hall. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. The Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. They'll run with Hall. Room here to run. Give him 12 yards there. The Jets have a first. On first down, Wilson. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shot. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Back to the ground with Hall. And he's got Rome. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. So there you go. They needed a big play, and they got one there on the touchdown run. And that was a very important drive. Of course, they all are when you're trailing in the second half. But what I really liked, they didn't panic. They knew they still had time to run the football and keep playing their game. So one is an the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. are going to recover. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the Coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. 74 yards rushing now for Mostert as he picks up a first down. some yardage work on that clock see if you can continue to tick it down definitely you want to bleed things out at this point right continue to possess the football gain some yardage and put the onus on the defense do they have to use timeouts what are they going to do to stop you you're taking charge the first down run got five here's second and five in motion hill running the counter with Mostert down right around the 25 well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so? Because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. Uh -oh, he is going nowhere as he is enveloped behind the line. Calling no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. 
Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. They'll try it now with Mostert. And they are going to stop him on fourth and one as he'll wind up going backwards. He only needed a yard, but he couldn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. And the Jets are going to get the football back. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. A big opportunity to tie it with three or take the lead with a touchdown. Their defense definitely did their part with that pivotal fourth down stop. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A big run there, 29 yards and a first. Well, definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 44-yard line. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. Pass caught. It's Davis on the crossing route. They'll get this one down near the 20 yard line. Just shy of the 20. It's another first down as they bite on 23 more on that one. And here we are the fourth quarter partner who watched them drive for what would be a go ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. Not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too. on both sides right now. Now Tua. And the comeback may stall out. It's intercepted. Sauce Gardner picks it off. And the Jets are going to take possession of the football. We talk about making winning plays. That is a winning play at this stage of the game to come up with that interception huge. I like how you identified that because most people think winning plays are the offense trying to get it done. In this case, nursing a lead, they found a way to make a play on that side of the ball and maybe finish things off. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as it comes with a minute four left to go in the game. And now the question everyone's wondering, look at the clock, late fourth quarter, do they put the ball in the air here on third? I don't. I run the football, and I tell my offensive line, no leakage up front. I don't want my running back hit as I hand the ball off to him. I don't want any type of an issue. But if I am going to throw it, quick throw out to the perimeter maybe one of my best receivers running a quick slant or something like that he has a man it's complete to Wilson and he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion so from the 17 now here's a first and 10 on first and 10 it's Hall 
He will push his way down to about the 14. Tackled by Bradley Chubb, the number five pick in the 2018 draft. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. All again on second down. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for. That time they're able to bottle him up, but he's having a really nice game. I agree with that. Let's just go big picture, right? Every back that's in the Hall of Fame had carries where they didn't gain yardage or they lost yardage, but you stick with them, don't you? When they're having a good game, keep feeding them. Clicking. They're going to feel good about this one. 